Japan Sports Cards Collecting. Back at you with another video about my pickups. Uh, I've been starting to do these weekly, but for some reason I'm buying a lot of cards this week. So I decided to break it off into two. So I'm having a midweek my pickup special uh, viewing for y'all. So uh, let me get right into it. Um, I'm going to start with I've been buying so many of these Panini Treble. I'm buying into the hype, but I like these cards before they were uh, all hyped up. And uh, I'll start right off by showing the, the major purchase that I purchased this week. Um, this is the uh, Jaden Sancho Panini Treble, Panini Premier base card uh, rookie um, in a PSA 9. You know, it's a thicker slab for the PSA uh, slabs here. Uh, this There's so few of these graded. I think there's only been about... Tw I looked at the pop reports the other day. There's been about a total of maybe... 24 graded and I think about uh, 14 or 15 of them were PSA 9 so there's very few of these graded uh, I went a little bit out of my budget this this uh, week so far uh, this thing this one cost me about 10,000 yen so around you know 95 100 dollars to get this in a uh, PSA 9, but I was happy to get it. It's I really like the card. I know his form's a little down with the whole Man U team, but uh, just a really nice card. And so um, I was happy to pick this up. I'm happy to hold on to it. But, you know, I figured also for such a low pop card and for about $100, I couldn't go wrong. And so then I was picking up a lot of, um, let's see here, uh, I got these for a dollar a piece. Um, they're also just your regular base cards. Um, but, you know, I think they just look so nice, these Panini Trebles. And I know, you know, people are talking about them now. And uh, you don't see them that often. And they're still not that pricey here, but they're starting to pick up. Uh, I know, like, an Arine Robin um, out of, I think it was out of 49. But it... We just sold, and it was it sold for over a hundred dollars here just recently on auction, and so people are starting to really get them. I picked up a lot of um, FC Porto uh, treble cards. Um, it came with, yeah, it came with one uh, numbered parallel card, um, and then it came with. Jesus Corona. Uh, this Victor Herrera is numbered out of 150. These were called the Midfield Majesties. For some reason, when I see these, I think of, um, oh my goodness, I can't remember now, the, like the orange juice drink, um, Minute Maid. <laughs> Midfield Mastery sounds like, when I see this, when I first thought it, I thought it said Minute Maid. But, uh, you know, these are these are some of the, but they're not colored, but they're the, they're the numbered as well. And then I also have Alex Tellis, He's a rookie on this card. He's a rookie, uh, and he now plays for, you know, another Man U person that's kind of getting lost in the shuffle. But, you know, I figured it, for the, these four cards for this Porto was about $7. So I decided I would go ahead and pick that up. And then finally, I got to buy it now. Uh, Victor Moses, uh, purple out of 49 for um, Chelsea. I paid $5 by this now. Okay, so that was my Panini Trebles for the week. Um, as I said, I'm starting to get a little collection of those. All right, next up, I uh, bought a shot, a Gavi. Gavi. <laughs> um, you know, he's a up and young comer, gets a lot of hype here out of Barcelona. This is a rookie card. Um, I don't know if it's considered his first rookie. It's from the the... FC Barcelona curated top set. I didn't want to really pay, uh, for, you know, I don't know what the set's going for, maybe like $35, $40. This is the one card I wanted with the Saguardo del Familia uh, church here in the background. You know, I've been to Barcelona. I visited that several times. It's a beautiful place. I just think it's a really nice card. I like the rookie logo, kind of plain in the back. I decided I'd get one. This is the only card I wanted in the set. It cost me $5. I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, I picked up two different, I'm still picking up singles when I, of the Road to Cutter Donruss set that came out this year when I can get them for about a dollar, two dollars a piece. 
of course, Alvarez, these Pitch King canvas cards. Um, plays for Mexico, but I get him because he's an Ajax player. Really like it. And then the guy who whose name I now can't remember how to pronounce. See, but I am a U.S. player rated rookie. Is he the guy that plays in uh, for the young boys in Switzerland? And he P folk is his name, and then also, and it changes all the time. I'm not quite sure if it's the same guy or not. But uh, you know, these are press proofs numbered out at 349. They don't look much different from the regular base. I guess they're just numbered here so they can say press proof. But um, again, I picked it up. Uh, picked up uh, Dominic. Another name I can't pronounce. I need to watch more soccer here recently because I'm forgetting how to pronounce all these names. So nah, I'm not even trying. But he's he's great. Um, you know, he's an up and coming a striker here, and these are his first card in his in his uh, national kit for Hungary, and it does have the rookie logo. It's just a base. Um, I think it was a, like a dollar or two, and then also for Hungary, I picked up um, another player that probably Zoltan Gera. Um, that was a Euro. Uh, what were these Euros? 2016, sorry. Uh, blue parallel, numbered out of 249. Again, this was a dollar. Anytime I can get into these blue, I mean, any parallels from any of the World Cup, Panini World Cup sets, I go ahead and pick them up because, you know, sometime I'm going to run into a collector that collects hungry and we can make some trades. Um, the New Era Teelman's from the 2018 World Cup. Uh, it's a prism uh, silver. And so, uh, again, it was about $3, so I went ahead and got that. Uh, got a James Ward-Prowse auto from 2014 Topps Gold. Uh, I like James Ward-Prowse. I know he plays for Southampton, doesn't get much love, but he can hit um, penalty kicks like nobody in the business. It's not in the best condition. I saw here there's some whitening up here. I paid about $12 for this card, and so I was hoping it was in better condition than it is. But an early auto, it's a sticker auto. But uh, I like it. Again, this is about $2. Julian Brandt. Uh, these are the 2018-19 uh, Panini Donruss Optic. Um, numbered out of 149. Uh, I love the this year's Panini Obsidian cards. And uh, I think they're nice quality cards too. They're thicker as well. Uh, this is Pitch Black of a Serbian striker whose name I also can't pronounce. I know I sound like an idiot in this video because I can't say anybody's names, but, you know, at least I know who they are. Uh, Serbia has already made it to the World Cup. They won their group, and they're an amazing team. And so, uh, you know, this is out of 30, uh, and he's a, one of the younger players for that um, for that country. So uh, even though he plays for Lazio here, um, you know, I'm really looking for him for the World Cup here, and I just, I just really think it's a nice card. And then I got a whole stack of... Um, this year's Topps Chrome uh, Bundesliga cards. Tyler Adams for my PC. That was a couple dollars. It's just your Phenoms um, insert. But it's nice. It looks like a nice quality card. Uh, I'm really a big fan of Patrick Schick um, from uh, Byron Leverkusen. He plays for the Czech team. I think they've also, if they haven't made the World Cup, they're in the playoffs um, against some other European teams. But... Uh, he plays great. I think he's a, a really good, and he also played really well in the uh, Euros this year. And so this is the pink something out of 75. And so uh, got this for around $10. I was happy about that. Uh, Valt Weghorst for Wolfsburg. Um, again, it's out of, it was out of 150. It's a blue. Um, he's a good score, goal scorer whenever Wolfsburg can get a goal. Um, so uh, this only cost me, I think, $3. Uh then this uh, for Hoffenheim, the Kramerich. Um, again, it's out of 150. Um, again, I think this was like a dollar. So I, I like the look of it. I like the blue matching the blue. Just the color matches are really nice. And then for some reason, Gio Reyna is going mega cheap here. Um, I got the refractor. I got the out of 75 pink. And I got the purple out of 299. And I think I paid about... Maybe four dollars, maybe not for all these. These all three of these were about ten dollars. Um, so I was like, if you can get three parallels of uh Giovanni Rainey, I just think it's because he's been hurt and he hasn't been getting any hype here that people have kind of are sleeping on him. Um, I'm really looking forward to he's back now at um 
Borussia Dortmund, he's playing, he's off injury. And so I'm looking for him to have a big World Cup this year. And then finally, I got a big, a uh, small stack here of the uh, Japan Topps Chrome um, Mojo Refractors. Uh, just some, just players I like. Uh, Ganabri um, out of 50. And um, this young player whose name I also can't pronounce for um, Leipzig. They're both out of 50. Um, surprisingly, not very much money. I had th These aren't getting these cards when they first came out. They were getting more love in the hobby. People don't really enjoy, uh, for some reason, the Japanese version of these cards. And so they're either a sleeper or, you know, they're never going to be much. I got Serginia Dest. Um, this one's out of 199. And then two of the just regular silver mojo refractors of two uh, big Ajax rookies this year, Graven Birch and uh, Kenneth Taylor. And so, you know, they're just the normal silver refractors, but these were a dollar a piece. So, you know, I really couldn't pass them up. All right. Well, I'll probably have another video this weekend to show you some more cards that I'm picked up. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's a big buying week. I'm kind of out of my uh, budget this, this week for some odd reason. So, uh, I hope you're all keeping happy and safe and enjoying your collecting, and I'll see you later.